What's up guys? Alex here with Nickens Lawn and Landscape. I wanted to show you guys my enclosed trailer setup. Just bought it about eight days ago, so it's not completely done, but I've done a few things and this is what we got so far. First thing I did was run some two by fours. I ran one up there and one right there. One up there and one down there. I did those, I tapped those into the metal studs of the trailer and then I mounted everything else to those 2x4s. So essentially everything is mounted to the metal studs of the trailer and I did that because I heard stories of people having stuff fall off and break off and chip the wood out and all kinds of stuff. So I didn't want any of that to happen. So that's what I did and everything is very sturdy. When you shake those 2x4s it shakes the whole trailer. So it's pretty good. Got the weed eater line rack here. Took a solid piece of steel and welded it to a little plate there and drilled a couple holes in the plate, put a few screws in there to hold it to the 2x4, drilled a hole there for a pin so it can't slide off and, and that's what holds that. I didn't want to buy one so I made that out of some scrap stuff I had around. I got the 4 trimmer rack by Green Touch, the lockable one. Those are really common but very nice as well. I like that. Um, I got a milk crate here. I mounted up to hold oil and some road flares and some inner tubes for some belkies and things like that just some random stuff uh, i got a couple of hooks here they're made to hold bicycles and ladders and things like that and garages but i drilled a pilot hole there and then threaded those in there and hung those in there they're very sturdy they're not going anywhere the chainsaw guard kept coming off whenever I would drive down the road, so I put that aside. But other than that, it was working good so far. I got the shelf up front. That is also tapped into the studs, the 2x4s under there. And then I put a little bigger board there to kind of have a lip so nothing could fall off. And then I got my 60-inch drop-down side door. I got my man door. Uh, got a light. Got my gas cans mounted here and I got some eyelets into those two by fours another one down there and another one right there and then just some bungees around the cans to hold them those have been there since day one and haven't moved this here is a fuel door you put the nozzle at the gas station through there and fill up your mower so you don't have to open the back door or take any mowers off or anything like that it's on the same side as my nozzles on my truck so works out pretty well and it's pretty efficient I got my blowers here better angle it goes Put the BR 600 up top that's on a rack from Home Depot five dollar rack there and then I got a two dollar rack here same thing tapped into the wood and threaded that in there and that just sits there it doesn't go anywhere and then I put some eyelets on the back there on that 2x4 and I got a bungee around there because that did fall off the first day I, I took it out that fell off the bottom one has not fallen off yet but I did go ahead and, and put some eyelets back there so if I do go on any long trips or anything of that sort I'll be able to throw a bungee across there but that's the one I use the most and that is the BR700 and then for my trimmers I got the edger there the FC 95 steel and then I got two FS 94 R's those are awesome trimmers extremely light and very very durable yet uh, they're middle of the pack I would say as far as the commercial grade but they are very sturdy I had one other one I got rid of it but so these two make three that I've had and I'm very satisfied with them and then for the mowers here I usually keep my 36 walk behind up there that's out now because it is aerating season so I got my aerator and my cedar up there I don't use my 36 very much anyway so I took it out for the day got a 52 Ferris there that's a 2010 I believe 2009 and this is the 2016 FW 35 centralized controls with the 28 horsepower fuel injected Briggs engine this thing is a beast and that's what we got so far.